A cyber attack happens somewhere in the world every 14 seconds, and many are coming directly from Russia, according to the official annual cybercrime report. Almost every day, for the last five years, they're specifically targeting our country and specifically conducting operations against our country. Within the last 10 years, Russia has used cyber warfare to attack Ukraine, and not just once, and each time they've hit a major artery. We were not prepared. Definitely not prepared. Newsy spoke with a hacker with the Ukrainian Cyber Alliance, a private volunteer group that helps the government and Ukrainian people prevent future attacks. He asked us to call him Jeff, not his real name. He is actively working to fight cyber attacks on his country. Because we know how to do it, we can do it, and nobody does it like us. As Ukraine fights for its independence from Russia and build its democracy, the attacks are constant. Jeff says the first major incidents were in 2015 and 2016. He says Russia successfully targeted Ukrainian power grids and left lasting damage. It was a bit scary because it was too simple and too easy to be done. It's panic, it's called like civil terrorism, cutting down the power, do you know what to do, how many pharmacies are working, the banks are not working. Uh, cell lines, phone lines are not working, no TV, no radio, no nothing. When you lose your stuff, when you lose your normal way of living just in one click, it's damn scary. Jeff says while it's hard to calculate the economic costs of these attacks, he estimates they're around 10 billion rivnas, the equivalent of more than 400 million U.S. dollars, almost 4% of Ukraine's GDP. A June 2017 hack known as NotPetya crippled systems around the world, including Ukraine. International experts blamed Russia. We got too many defunct business after this. Too many corporations and small businesses and medium businesses were down, down for like a week, and most of them never gave, never stood up. These attacks occurred as Ukraine fights a ground war with Russia in Donbas. Jeff says Ukrainian leaders are preoccupied with that and not on cyber attacks. No, they're not doing enough. Call it like old style socialism. The government is always right. It always knows what to do, in what way. Cybersecurity experts agree, saying the Ukrainian government is not employing the right people and likely for one reason, money. Саме так приватному секторі заробітна платня приватного сектору в кілька разів вища ніж державному сектору для спеціалістів з кібербезпеки і розуміння в державному секторі. Ігор Алшев runs a cyber school in Ukraine. He says the government salary is a deterrent. Private employees can make up to $2,000 per month when a government employee may only earn a quarter of that. Of course, uh, private sector is much more prepared uh, for, uh, for cyber attacks uh, than the government. Uh, because uh, cyber security is something which requires uh, big investments, uh, training, first of all, training professionals, uh, equipment, software, and uh, teaching uh, employees. It's not just Ukraine. Experts believe Americans are not prepared for cyber attacks either. The problem of Americans is still they don't understand the Russians. They do believe that Russians are a civilized country. That's the main concern. They are not a civilized country. And they do consider the United States as the primary target and the main enemy of the Russian world, so-called Russian world. What Americans can learn from us, like do pen test your government, do vulnerability assessment of your government, do consider your cybersecurity the way as we always did for the five years, past five years.